Who should be responsible for school discipline? The principal or the superintendent? A proposed policy amendment would give the superintendent more control, and that has some people fired up in circulating a petition online. WFMY News 2's Laura Brache is live with a breakdown of the changes that could come to the district. Petitioners say an addendum to the district's student discipline policy gives the superintendent full authority to expunge suspension records. But the district, on the other hand, says that it's not all suspensions and there's a process to making it all happen. Just a few signatures away from reaching its goal, parents of Guilford County students hope this petition will stop a vote on a revised suspension policy. The push is not to change the suspension rates, it's to change them even more. <laughs> Parents like Mark Ridgel, a retired SRO, say not only does it take power away from principals, it allows students with bad conduct back in the classroom without any consequences, making schools unsafe. When you have one child that's disrupting a classroom, the ones that suffer from him staying in that classroom are the other 28, 29, or 30, or more. The issue here is simply should students be allowed to attend to appeal short term suspensions, suspensions of 10 days or less as a part of their due process rights? That's Tony Watlington, chief of schools for Guilford County. He says ultimately, even if the policy passes, not all appeals would make it to the superintendent anyway. Yeah, the revised policy is currently in a public commentary period and petitioners hope to present their plea to the board as soon as they get enough signatures. The vote is scheduled at the next board meeting on November 12th.